Now, Attack on Titan has become rather popular lately, and in terms of Attack on Titan becoming popular, a game developer named Fengle actually developed a game based on Attack on Titan and recently enabled multiplayer for that game. Now, a lot of you guys have seen my playthrough of this game with other people who are part of my subscriber base and it was really fun, but one of the questions that I seem to have gotten the most was, Etika, how did you set up your own private server for people to play on? Now, I know that the complex process to do so is kind of hard to follow, so what today's goal will be was showing you guys how to make your own private server to play Fangley's awesome Attack on Titan game with your friends and have them set up their servers or you can set up your own server as well. So, with that being said, we are going to go into this process. There is a way to host a server using Hamichi, which is a kind of software which emulates wireless LAN from anywhere in the world. But this tutorial is going to show you how to host your own Attack on Titan the game server without the use of any exterior programs like Hamichi or something, using straight up nothing but port forwarding and your own wireless router. You have to have a wireless router for this method. So let's get into it. Step one of this whole tutorial will be turning your IP address into a static IP address so that you can enable port forwarding. You're going to have to download this program, the PF Static IP. And basically what this will do is with one click of a button, turn your IP address from dynamic into static, which will enable you to be able to port forward to allow people to play on a server. You have to do this for most games if you want to host a server in them, so there's nothing malicious here. Just go to the link that I have in the description, or I'll probably have an annotation showing it, but then again, YouTube doesn't allow you to link stuff like that in annotation. So just go to the description, you'll see the first download link, click and download that program, PF, PF Static IP. You're going to take that program and set it up, then you're going to install it. Make sure everything is installed nicely. You're going to run the actual program. Your network will be analyzed. You can then click make it static on the program window to be able to change your IP address into a static IP. From this point onward, the program takes care of everything else for you. Copy down the address that appears on the IP address field. For this tutorial, we'll use 12.12.12.12 as my static IP address, the new IP that the static IP program gave me. So congratulations, you actually have your static IP address all set up and ready to go. So we have finished step one of this tutorial. So now let's go into step two. Step two will be enabling port forwarding to set up wireless servers on your wireless router. So let's get into it. Now there's a second link in the description that I'm going to need you to go to in order to continue this process. So go to the description and then go to the second secondary link that's in the steps that I put and you'll be able to find what you need to do. So go to that page. Just as a heads up, this is where steps get a little bit different because from this point forward, the steps that you need to take to enable port forwarding for your wireless router will be different depending on what kind of wireless router you have. I have a Netgear wireless router while you may have a Belkin or something else like that. So the steps from this point forward will be slightly different for you, but they'll have the same general direction. But later on in the tutorial, they will specialize quite a bit so try to follow as closely as possible play close attention to this part because this is where you really need to have your eyes open step 2a from this point find the manufacturer of your wireless router on the list and then click it step 2b you'll see an ad but you can just close that no problem step 2c select the model number of your router right now the model number should be on your wireless router. Mine is WRN, or w, rather WNR3500. Find it on the list and then click it. From this point, you're going to see a list of games, but the games really don't matter. Just, just pick the first one for the hell of it, because the game that you choose really won't matter when it comes to determining if you can play Attack on Titan or host a server. You just can choose any game that's on the list, so we'll just go with the first one. Step 2E. On this page, you will have to enter in your static IP address that you made from step 1D. So that static IP that I had used, the, the, the one that we're using for the tutorial, 12.12.12.12. That's the IP address that you're going to want to enter in in that bar on that page. Once you enter it in, you can just scroll down. There's no need to press enter or anything like that. All right, guys, remember when I told you that the steps are going to specialize after a certain point? We have reached that point. Step 2F all depends on what wireless router you have. So the steps that I have to follow from this point forward will be most likely totally different from the ones that you have to follow. So what I need you to do at this point is to make sure that you follow the steps 
down this page 100% to the T in order to enable port forwarding for Attack on Titan in the game. Now, if you don't follow these steps and you try to go through without doing them and skipping them, you are not going to be able to host your own server. I wish I could be able to help you with this point, but at this point now, it's just a matter of you being able to follow the steps that they outline for you for on the rest of this page. If you are able to, then you'll be able to move on to the next step. But the next step pretty much will be after you have set up your port forwarding. But the only way you'll be able to set up your port forwarding is by following the unique steps on the rest of this page to be able to basically set up your server. So, I really can't help you with this because my steps differ from your steps. There's so many wireless routers and model numbers out there that it would be impossible for me to cover them all in this video. So, make sure that you follow the steps perfectly for your router. All right, so if you were able to get up the port forwarding for your router, then good shit. The port number that you were given at the bottom of the page here are the ones that you'll need to run your server. If you had to forward more than one port for the instructions, then just use the first port that you were given. This is the port number you will give to people when they try to access your server for the Attack on Titan game. So the port number that we are going to use for this tutorial that we were given to port forward is going to be 80. So when somebody asks me what's your port to be able to play on my server for Attack on Titan, I'll tell them my port number is 80. Now you also need your IP address in order for having people to join your server. So for your IP address, it's actually not the IP 12.12.12.12. It's actually going to be the public IP. The 12.12.12.12 is actually only meant for you and your router, but the one that's meant for the public is different. So to find that out, you simply can just go to whatsmyip.org to check your actual IP for the computer. This will be the IP that you give people to have access to your server in Attack on Titan. For this tutorial, I'll just use an example IP of 69.69.69.666. Now that you've set up your port forwarding, the final details to give people to access your server are your IP address being 69.69.69.666 and your port being 80. With those details in mind, you'll be able to give people your those details and they'll be able to join your server no problem as long as you follow the steps to individually and specially set your port forwarding for your wireless router on that page. So I hope you're still with me here. We've gone through a one hell of a zyg heist of steps, but we are finally nearing the end of this thing. So step number three is finally playing the game and making sure that everything is good. Now, you're going to have to open Feng Lei's game, of course, and then click LAN, and then after that, click Server. On this page, you're going to want to fill in the server details to your preference, but put in the port number that you forwarded that basically you were given for your port forwarding. So in this tutorial, if you remember, ours was 80, so you basically put 80 in that port forwarding field. Here, you're going to want to click Start and your server will finally rev up. Now this is the only period where people will be able to join your game. Once you click start off the screen, then the server gateway will be closed for players to join until you refresh the page and restart the server once again. From this point forward, you should pretty much be good. Now there are some important steps that you need to remember or rather some important notes that you need to remember for after everything is set up. Now for people joining your server, they really do not need to do anything extra. People that are just joining onto a server don't need to have port forwarding, they don't need to have PF static IPs, they don't need to have anything special. All they need is your IP address for your server and your port number from your port forwarding and you should be good. Another note, if you do not set up port forwarding correctly in the way that you're supposed to for your wireless router, then you will not be able to host a server, point blank period. Once again, I cannot help you with this process as it differs depending on the wireless router that you have. So my steps will not be the same as your steps. So you will have to figure that out yourself in step 2F where the specialized instructions start for your wireless router. Here's one of the most important things to keep in mind when you're playing Attack on Titan in the game, multiplayer, hosting a server. Now, the more players that you have on your server, the more lag and latency you're going to run into. So from this point forward, you need to make sure that you kind of have a sweet spot in terms of how many people are playing onto your server. Now, where my sweet spot is, around six people. Maybe I can fit in seven and there won't be that much lag, but six seems to be the safe number for me. Any more than that and you'll start to experience real big latency issues and the game will play really choppy and will be pretty much unplayable. So make sure that you find out where is a safe spot for the amount of people that can play on your server. The amount of people that can play on a server server with it still being stable without latency is all dependent upon the power of the computer that's hosting the server, the internet speed, 
that the server is being hosted on and other factors as well but mainly it's influenced by the processing power of the computer that it's being hosted on and the internet speed that the server is connected to the internet with so when you keep those things in mind make sure that you are hosting a server on the best possible computer you can because the better quality of the computer and the internet connection the better quality of your game overall and the more people that can join your game without there being latency issues well then I really hope that that helped you guys to figure out how to host your own attack on Titan server my name is Etika and if you don't know I do this stuff on a regular basis so check me out on my channel as well and hopefully you guys will be able to play the game and have as much fun as I am but anyways I'm not gonna hold up any more of your time I hope this tutorial helped you out and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one